Here is an excellent example on application of derivatives. You have learned what power rule is. Now we will solve an application question. The question here is, find a function of the form f of x equals to ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d with horizontal tangent at 1, 2 and origin. So when we say origin, we mean 0, 0. Is it okay? So we are given an equation which is cubic polynomial with three unknowns. To solve this question, we need at least three equations, rather four unknowns, one, two, three, four. Four unknowns, so we need four equations, right? So remember, we have four unknowns. So that means we need four equations. So let's see how we can get four equations from here. First, we are given the function itself. Let me rewrite the function as ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, right? We are given that these two points are on the function. When we say horizontal tangent, it means there is a common point, right? Between the line, which is horizontal, and the curve the cubic function in this case. So two equations you can get by placing these values of the points in the function itself. So let's use 0, 0. So, so f of 0 is what? So if you substitute 0 here, 0 here, and 0 here, we get 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus d, and this is equal to 0. Perfect. So that gives you one value which is d equals to 0. So this gives you d equals to 0, correct? Now let's get another equation, which is at 1, the value is 2. So that is to say that f of 1 is equal to, if I write 1 here for x, I get a plus b plus c. Now d is 0, so I'm not writing anything. Do you see that? d is 0. But at 1, the value is 2, so I'm writing this as equal to 2. So I get second equation here. So one we got, we'll begin this as the first equation, second equation, and the third equation. Perfect. So we have a plus b plus c equals to 2. Okay. Now to get the other equations, we should find the derivative. So let's find the derivative of the function, which is f prime or f dash x, which is equal to 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c, right? That is the derivative. Now, horizontal tangent means derivative is 0, correct? So when we say horizontal tangent, it means f dash x equals to 0, correct? That is what it means. And we are given this is 0 at two points, origin and this point. So again, let us use the point 0, 0. So let's use the point zero, 0, So what do we get? So that means we get f dash of 0 is equal to, so substitute 0 for x. So we get here 0 plus 0 plus c. And that should be equal to 0, which gives you the value of c as 0. Correct? So that is our fourth condition. Now, we can substitute the value x equals to 1 and get another equation. So if I, I also know that the derivative at 1 is also 0. So if I substitute 1 in this derivative, I get 3a plus 2b plus c, right? And this is also equal to 0. That means we have horizontal tangent, right? This is for horizontal tangent. Perfect. So we get equation number five. Now from here, now you know we have three unknowns, one, two, and three. In fact, c is zero, so this is zero, so that goes. So we have now two unknowns and two equations. So the two equations, let me rewrite these two equations. And since c equals to zero, I'm rewriting this equation as a plus b equals to two, right? So, or, and then we have, uh, we could write uh, b equals to 
2 minus a. Let me write like this. So let me call this as my equation number 6. So if b is 2 minus a and c is 0, right, and we have equation 3a plus 2b equals to 0. So since c is 0, I'm writing this as my seventh equation from here. Since c is 0, is it okay? Let us substitute b as 2 minus a here. So we get 3a plus 2 times 2 minus a equals to 0, which gives me 3a plus 4 minus 2a equals to 0. And that gives me a plus 4 equals to 0. And solving this, we get a equals to minus 4. So if a is 4, let's call this as equation 8. We'll substitute this in equation 6, right? So, so from equation 6 and 8, what do you get? b is equal to 2 minus minus 4, which is 2 plus 4, which is 6. So we get b as 6, correct? So we got all our values now. That is the value. Let's call this equation 9. So what we get finally as a is equal to minus 4. So we get a equals to minus 4, b equals to 6, c equals to 0, and d is also equals to 0. And that gives you the function f of x as equal to minus 4x cubed, b is 6, 6x six squared. That is the function. Perfect. So that is how you can actually solve this particular question. So I hope all steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.